What is going on y'all and welcome back. Now the title and thumbnail did not deceive you. We are going to shoot in La Jolla today. La Jolla is a very beautiful part of town. It's probably what most people think of when they think about San Diego. Beautiful shorelines, nice houses, kind of a townsy feel to it. And so I should be able to get some really cool shots over there. Now, I heard you, I read the comments in my last video with the Ricoh GR3, and I did find the built-in ND filter setting. And so hopefully I'm gonna be able to leverage that feature in order to get some good shots, because as you can see, I am gonna be shooting in bright sunlight. And so hopefully that ND filter will be enough because I still haven't purchased the physical ones, but hopefully the inbuilt setting will be enough. More importantly, I managed to program some film recipes. Let me show you that real quick. So the app I'm using is the Rico Recipes app in the Google Play Store. Yes, I do use an Android phone, but with this app, I am able to go in and see all of the different looks for the Rico GR3. And so tapping into these things, I can see what are the shooting scenarios that these recipes are being used in. Do these particular scenarios apply to the majority of scenarios that I'd be shooting in? Do they not? And uh, what ways can I use this? I'm looking at what these recipes are doing to certain colors like blues, greens, oranges, and really just trying to see, okay, which one would be best for the vibes that I'm going for. And so with that, I have chosen three distinct settings. So I have the Americana Color, I have the Royal Supra, and I have the Color Film setting in my Rico GR3. As you can see here, the Users 1, 2, 3, those actually refer to our settings up top here. So right now I'm in U2, I'm in Royal Supra. I think that's the film recipe I'm going to use most often while I go out and shooting today because it's a bright sunny day, it kind of warms warms up the uh, scene a little bit in order to give it those summertime vibes. So I think that's the one that's going to be the one mostly used, but I do have these other two as well if I wanna use those. Americana color might also be nice, so I might give that a try, but I'm guessing the main one being used is gonna be Royal Supra, but we're gonna see. Anyway, y'all know the plan, y'all know the programming. Let's go ahead and get over there. Okay, y'all, so we made it here to the shoreline and uh, it's quite a few people out here for a Thursday, midday, but I'm gonna get some good shots of the shoreline. Got the seagulls out there. I saw a few seals, people surfing. So uh, yeah, we be, should be able to get some good photos and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Now real quick, I did some test shots using the programmed recipes I mentioned earlier, and as I suspected, the Royal Supra was the best recipe for the job. Now, the Americana color itself, it's not bad, but it was a little cool for my taste. It didn't really give me that summertime vibe to it. And as you can see, the color film option added this weird green tinge to the photo, and uh, it just wasn't for me. So, all the rest of the photos were shot in the Royal Supra film recipe. Now the shoreline itself is fairly interesting. I think there were a lot of good photos I captured where it showed the contrast of textures between the sky, the ocean, the sand, the cliffs, all that good stuff. But there's only so many pictures you can take of just the ocean, just the beach. And so what I was looking for as I moved up and down the shoreline were a lot of interesting moments, a lot of interesting scenes. A lot of people like to capture photos, but I like to capture scenes that tell a story. And uh, yeah, I was basically just watching people as they went about their time, enjoyed their time on the beach. We had people on the reefs just kind of taking in the scenery. We had people playing in the sand right at the coastline. We had people just kind of chilling and relaxing on the cliffs. We had a flock of seagulls relaxing on the cliff. I saw the lifeguards keeping watch. Saw people, you know, just going about enjoying their beach time, enjoying their day in the sun, enjoying the water, and just having an overall good time. And so I was just really just trying to capture a lot of those moments. Now, I will say this, with the Rico GR3, I do have the 28 millimeter version and so I couldn't get as close to people as I wanted. I did try to leverage that uh, crop option that's built into the camera where I can crop into 35 millimeters, I can crop into 50 millimeters and so that got me a little bit closer. I know it, it took away some of the resolution of the photos but it got me in a little bit closer but I still wished I got a little bit closer to people in order to capture those moments but also I don't want to be creepy you know people are just out there trying to have a good time. I don't want to ruin the vibe so I kept my distance and I just tried to capture what I could. Just finished shooting uh, over by the shoreline. You know, I think we got some really good shots over there. Got a lot of uh, 
people walking around, you know, just enjoying the sun. Got a lot of uh, nature wildlife. I got the reef, got surfers, but I would be remiss if I didn't show you all this beautiful neighborhood because La Jolla has its own little charm to it. It's kind of well off neighborhood, but really nice architecture, really cool stuff to see as far as housing and buildings go. But let's go ahead and uh, get some photos of that. So this particular neighborhood of La Jolla is a nice little mixture. It has some residential, it has some businesses, it has hotels, it's kind of touristy. So a lot of hotels in the area. Some of them you wouldn't even think are hotels. They just kind of look more like inns, I guess. But we had those, we had restaurants, we had things like church churches. We had a lot of public spaces for people to kind of just hang out and walk around. All of the mini shops, it kind of gave a little bit of a townsy vibes. The architecture was pretty nice. They used a lot of stone, a lot of different textures in their architecture. Particularly, I saw the church and it was like kind of an old school Catholic church. Really nice contrasting oranges used to make that building and it contrasted well with the sky. And so pairing that with the Royal Supra film recipe, I think it provided a very interesting look, especially as we we started getting into the statues, zooming out and getting into the overall scene with that church. I thought that was pretty interesting. And then of course, shooting the shops, just catching people just out and about, enjoying their time, enjoying their shopping, trying to get to where they need to go by any means necessary, whether it's walking, getting on scooters or whatever. And so I think we captured a lot of interesting shots here. Again, I wish I could have gotten closer. I really need to work on that. I have not mastered that part of street photography where you kind of sneak in those shots where you can get close without people knowing noticing you. So that's the part that I need to work on. That's the part I'm actually a little terrified of because, you know, I don't want to be all in people's business, but I want to get the shot. So I got to kind of toe that line, find that balance. Would love to hear if any of y'all have any tips on how y'all go about doing that. Okay, y'all. So good shoot. I think I got a lot of good shots of the neighborhood, the shoreline, the shops, all that good stuff. I am sweating profusely, as you can see. I hope y'all enjoyed this video because I sweat for y'all. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. You know, drop in the comments, what is your favorite shot? Let me know uh, what you like, what you didn't like. Let me know any tips and tricks that you may have on the Ricoh GR3. I'm still learning the camera, so I can definitely use those tips. But uh, yeah, until then, I will catch y'all later.